You're here, I'm here. Good music here to be played and to be talked about. If I've earned your subscription by the end of this video, I'll be ever so grateful. I'm Alan, this is Alan Reacts. See you on that side of the tape. Hello all, welcome back to the channel. It's little old Alan here. This is a reaction, but how did I get here? This is Elephant Revival with Hello You at Red Rocks in, from 2016, as you can see. This is on their own channel, so please go and show them some love. How did I end up here? Well, I had seen, I explained on the last reaction to those guys, was a Schism Tool. I'm a big Tool fan, saw it, really liked it. Saw their sort of homage cover react to it really loved it and then see waloki 95389 you messaged me kindly in the channel madam or sir i don't know which and said maybe you'd like to go back to some of the stuff they do because i did say that i'd like to see if they had any original content and so this is where i've landed up with his hello you who you who no it doesn't it's basically a question within a question. It's hello, then the question is. Not you who as in English, because we say you who. But I wanted to find out a bit more of the band I have, so I'll get into the song first, and let's see what we get. I know a little bit more, and let's find out about this song. God, that's her voice. It's Bonnie, the lead singer, right? Kind of got that died away feel, which is great. It's a really unique voice. All voices are unique, I get it, but it's not a pop song voice. This is a real singer, songwriter's voice. But it opened with them, it had like a flamenco y folky feel. Then you heard that little bit of bluegrassy undertones, but it's more symphonic than that. And then you've got the visuals going on, so I'm going to need to watch this and listen to the song and try and tell you what I think I think about it in terms of what the song's about. Cello. I love the dance. I'm not a great interpreter of dance, but dance like this always feels very as if it's a very intimate process. And the song feels very intimate. And that mirroring the two, the dancing, the two dance troops split into two, it was mirroring each other. And the push pull, it's lovely. But then I'm trying to listen to the music and the lyrics, it's lovely. And it's the kind of thing where I'd like to be live because there's a lot going on. And I'd need to see the next song and the next song and the next song to get a full of what that ensemble cast is trying to achieve 
so what I'm interpreting, but it's really nice, really, but it's quite distracting in a good way. The dance, it's harmony and synchrony, synchronicity. You can see it in the movement the, the, when they both came to the stage and leaned out and pulled back and did things. That's the harmony, that's the synchronicity. That's the loving relationship, the harmony, the synchronicity. Yeah, I, it kind of makes sense. The music's beautiful. Oh. Such a small sample. I, I'd like, I'd want the song to be 20 minutes because the dance was going on. But the song itself, it feels, it's written like a traditional poem to me. But it, it's trans and it transcends that. And they describe themselves as a transcendent folk blues band. They originate from, my, as far as my little research tells me, is basically Cor Colorado and Oklahoma, I think. Yeah, the lead singer from a city in Oklahoma, Bonnie. And they've had a lineup that changed, then they toured sporadically, they took a hiatus. And it looks like, I looked on their tour on their website, it looks like they're out relatively a lot in 24, which is good for a band, I guess. But their stage presence is beautiful, understated, but it, it has a dynamism to it. It's so understated. How do I word this properly? Less is more. Less is more. They add the dance, but it doesn't take over the stage. The music is beautifully choreographed along with the dance. Yeah, I can hear the, the folk, the, the, the different sort of rhythms being almost progressive, if you like. She's got such a beautiful voice. Beautiful voice. Yeah. I like this. Thank you for recommending, my friend. You know, I've introduced you. That's nice. And I've got another song which you've said I can go to. I've made a note of that. But I like this band. And it's an evolution for me from having them seen play Schism, which was great, by the way. Really enjoyed it for a band to do that. Such a complex and complicated song. And then this, where it feels less is more, but there is a lot going on. I don't know if I've made sense, guys, because that was quite a, a lot for me to, to, to process. But the end result is I really liked it. I really liked them. I like the sound. I like the visuals. I like the stage show. I wish I could been to a Red Rock by now. Uh, the first time ever over Red Rock was U2 back in the day when they played Red Rock. The very first time in the 80s. Yeah. Guys, if you like it, thumbs up, join in. Tell me what I didn't know. Tell me what I missed. Tell me what you think of my opinion. Till next time, take care. Alan Reacts, I'm Alan, your host. If I've earned your subscription by the end of this video, I'll be ever, ever, ever so grateful. But most of all, I want you to have a good time. I'm Alan, this is Alan Reacts. See you on that side of the table.